combination of colors by the Guam Department of Corrections. I call upon Vince Bu Ada to sing the national anthem and the Guam hymn. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er oh, the ramparts we watch we're so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner away for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Fanu. Gitamoru Purita nota Canta natuna na itoru iluga Para i honra Para i gloria Habiba i isla sempara Para y honra, para y gloria, a viva y isla se para. Un toro y tiempo y paz, para y ta, dan ginen y lang en la bendición. Contra i peligro na fa sa foam do os protegi es langua. Contra i peligro na fa sa foam do os protegi es langua. For the recitation of Inifresi, will Senator Frank Bloss Jr. kindly lead us? You must talk to him, yes, sir. You must talk to him, the Kurasanho. Then you must speak to him, the Fresh and Meister, the Parabai who protect him, the who defend him, the Hinengi, the Kutura, the Lenguahi, the Airi, the Hanum, the Nitanu, tomorrow. Nirin Chaku Diretu, Ginyatu Ustata.
Esti hu e fit megi hi hilo i Biblia, zani banderahu i banderan guahan. Please remain standing, and I call upon Pali Gus Gumatauto to deliver the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father of mercies and God of all consolation, you pursue us with untiring love and dispel the shadow of death with the bright dawn of life. Comfort your family in their loss and sorrow. Be our refuge and our strength, O Lord, and lift us from the depths of grief into the peace and light of your presence. Your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by dying has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Enable us, therefore, to press on toward him, so that after our earthly course is run, he may, may reunite us with those we love, when every tear will be wiped away. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples, Gird your loins and let your lambs be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants, be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, of the Lord Jesus Christ, forever and ever. And may the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Eternal rest grant unto Ben, O Lord. Let the petrol light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Be seated. I recognize Senator Tina Rose Munya Barnes, Legislative Secretary, to read Resolution 445 33LS. Resol Resolution number 445-33 LS, introduced by Senator Tina Rose Munier Barnes, Senator Frank F. Blosch Jr., Vice Speaker Benjamin J. F. Cruz, Senator Tom C. Ada, Senator V. Anthony Ada, Senator Frank Bloss Uggen Jr., Senator James B. Espaldon, Senator Brant T. McCready, Senator Tommy Morrison, Majority Leader Senator Rory J. Respicio, Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr., Senator Michael F. Q. Nicholas, Senator Mary Camacho Torres, Senator Narissa N. B. Underwood, Ph.D., and Speaker Judith T. Wampat, E.D.D. Ladies and gentlemen, this is relative 
to commemorating and distinguishing the accomplishments and dedication of the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada, former senator, statesman, and successful businessman, a true public servant who served the people of Guam with dignity and goodwill, and to further extending the sincere condolences of the people of Guam and Iles Latura and Guahan to the Ada family on his passing. Be it resolved by Imina Trentai Tres and Iles Latura and Guahan, whereas the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada was born on January 24th, 1932, in the village of Sinahanya, and is the son of the late Vicente Cepeda Ada and Dolores de Leon Guerrero Diaz Ada, surrounded by his loving family, the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada was called to his eternal rest on August 28, 2016, at the age of 84. And the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada is predeceased by his loving wife of 57 years, Teresita Guterres Borja Ada, and their children, the late John Ada, the late Eddie Ada, his great grandson, Jesse John Cruz Ada II, and his son in law, Michael H. English. And he is also predeceased by his grandparents, Ana Cepeda and Judge Juan Martinez Ada, Familian Bodic, and Amparo Chabahan de Leon Guerrero and Vicente Flores Diaz, Familian Te and Galejo. And the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada is survived by his loving children and their spouses, Vincent Ada, Anita and Frank Ozazaki, Bennett Ada, Peter Ada, Rick and Marin Ada, Tony and Annette Ada, Therese and Danny Ibarra, Carmen Gaskins, and Lourdes Ada. And the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada lovingly and joyfully took pride in his 36 grandchildren and 59 great-grandchildren. And the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada will be missed by his brother, Peter Alexis Ada, and his wife, May Ada, and his sole surviving aunt, sister Antonetta Ada, MBB, and from 1957 until 1964, the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada enlisted and served in, United, in the United States Air Force and was a B-52 bomber mechanic. Mr. Ada also served in the Korean War conflict and was a Korean War veteran. And from 1964 until 1967, the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada was the general manager of the Pioneer Shop that sold and repaired electronics. And former Senator Ada was also an insurance underwriter. And in 1966, the late Vicente Ben Diaz Ada and his wife Teresita launched their own business, Ada's Insurance, and operated the business in the villages of Jigo and Tamuni. The former businessman was also a distributor from the Daiatsu brand of vehicles. And in 1970, the late Vicente Ben Diaz Ada became the scout master for the Boy Scouts of America, Troop 17 and he was the proud music artist of the official Troop 17 song entitled, We Are the Boys of 17, and former statesman was deeply rooted in his Catholic faith as evidenced by his membership in the Knights of Columbus Poly San Vitoris Council 05666. In his faith, the late senator saw the needs of the Carmelite Monastery of Guam and the Capuchin Friars in Sinanhanya and were always met, as well as other religious orders. And in 1971, the late Vicente Ben Diaz Ada championed the hearts of people, serving as a four-term senator in the Guam legislature, having served in the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th legislatures. The former senator was known to try everything possible to make sure all constituents got the assistance they needed. Further, former Senator Ada introduced measures to expand Guam's infrastructure and ensured that village commissioners had adequate funding to take care of the needs of their village. And in 1972, 
the late Vicente Ben Diaz at an opened and iconically family business, Pacific Funeral Homes. And in 1991, 1981, the late Vicente Ben Diaz Ada was instrumental in preparing for, the, for Pope John Paul II's visit to Guam, which drew thousands of Guam's Catholic faithful. And in 1992, the late Vicente Ben Diaz Ada officially changed the family business name to Ada Mortuary. And the iconic funeral home has served the people of Guam for nearly 45 years. And the late Vicente Ben Diaz Ada had a compassionate and generous heart in ensuring grieving family members that their loved ones who passed away were given a dignified burial and laid to rest peacefully. Mr. Ada's personal guarantee attributed to the success of the family business to this day. And in 2011, the United States Small Business Administration awarded Addis Mortuary as the recipient of the Jeffrey Butlin Family-Owned Small Business of the Year Award. This prestigious award honors a family-owned and operated business which has been passed on from one generation to another. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Mina Trentai Tresna Les and Guan does hereby, on behalf of her people of Guam, commemorate and distinguish the accomplishments and dedication of the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz, former senator, statesman, and successful businessman, a true public servant who served the people of Guam with dignity and goodwill, and does further extend sincere condolences of the people of Guam and Ileslatur and Guahan to the Ada family on his passing. And be it further resolved that the speaker certify and that the legislative secretary attest to the adoption whereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the family and children of the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz Ada, former senator, to the Honorable Madeline Z. Berdalu, Guam delegate to the U.S. Congress, and to Chief Justice Robert J. Torres, Judiciary of Guam, and to the Honorable Edward J. B. Cabo, Imagalahin Guahan. Ladies and gentlemen, this was duly and regularly adopted by Imina Trentai Tres and Les Latour and Guahan on the 29th day of August 2016, signed by Speaker Judith T. Wampat, EDD, and myself, Legislative Secretary, Senator Tina Rose Munya Barnes. Vice Speaker Benjamin Cruz, Legislative Secretary, Tina Rose Munya Barnes. Majority Leader, Senator Rory Specio, Assistant Minority Leader, Senator Brant McCready, to join me in presenting resolution 445. I call upon Governor Eddie Baza Calvo to present the governor's proclamation to the family.
I call upon Delegate Madeline Z. Berdalia to present the Congressional Extension of Remarks to the family. I now invite Governor Eddie Basakavo and Chief Justice Torres to join me in presenting the official wreath of Guam to the family. I am pleased to call upon Peter Alexis Ada to deliver the eulogy. Madam Speaker, Governor, Chief Justice, Congresswoman, podium guest, ladies and gentlemen. We just brought my brother down to the legislature Madam Speaker, may I ask you, can I talk to my brother just half a second? Please don't argue with the legislature. We all have watched America's Got Talent. 
And part of that performance or show episode, they have things that happen behind the scene that nobody talks about or is on the scene. Well, you've all heard our niece, Tina, give a pretty thorough history about my brother, except for one. He wasn't born in Sinahanya. He was born a street down from here. Ben had, um, you know, the Americans got talent. Ben had some talent himself. He can play the organ by ear. He can't read notes, but certainly can play beautiful church music. I'm going to talk to you about things that nobody knows about my brother. I'm going to talk things that nobody would dare talk about. I'm his brother. I will talk. <laughs> ben enjoyed going swimming. If there was anything he enjoyed most, it's swimming. And guess what time he goes swimming? Three o'clock in the morning. He called me one morning and he says, let's go. I said, where are we going? He says, we're going to the beach to swim. So as a little brother, I said, little brother, he, I went with him. And after we got through swimming, I said, don't you ever again call me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Many have asked, or at least a few have asked, who have seen my brother and I together, and they said, who's older? And uh, he looked up at me on his wheelchair, and he winked at me, and I said, What's so funny? He says, I look younger than you. <laughs> I didn't dare make a comment about that. And I said to him, dude, numbers don't change. There was an incident that happened at CL Tigno Elementary School when five of Ben's children were going to school. By the way, he named all of his children Vicente, which each one of them have a middle change of name. And there was to be an award ceremony. Guess what? The principal, Mrs. Cabot, said, Vicente Ada, five of them stood up. <laughs> Three of them are right here. There's Pete, there's Ricky, and there's Anthony. Ben was a very strong Roman Catholic. Very, very strong. And as you heard Tina say, he even worked for months to make sure he brought in and laid out all the way from the airport to chant the um, Cuesta San Ramon, the papal flag. We even joked and we said, because he was organizing the 55-gallon drum along Marine Drive, and he said to me, you know what that is? I said, no. He said, that's called popsicles. There were many interesting things and so much to talk about my brother with the funeral home. But let me tell you, it will take three chapters to ever get it done. But let me give you just a highlight of how it all started. My brother was bringing in caskets from the Philippines. 
And one day, a fellow from Santa Rita asked him, he said, Ben, can you bring in a hearse for his business? And he said, oh, okay. So he brought it in. Little did my brother realize that that same man was going to be the first client of that hearse. Then a couple of weeks later, he called me and he says, Pete, what are we going to do with this hearse? I said, I don't know. You know, I want you to know that our mother is a very particular woman. In Chamorro, they call um, Scurosa, very particular. So we were scared of that because she was going to oppose us into the business. Well, we did. I'm proud to say that my cousin Tom's father was one of the part that assisted us in this business. And there's more things that happened that I cannot tell you. I'll tell you later in private. My brother in the legislature did one interesting thing. He changed his name when it came to health. Because there was a legislation, I cannot remember what the legislation, but it had to do with uh, communicable disease. So he changed his name to BVD Ada. And one senator called him Senator Underwear. There was a vacancy in the legislature just a couple of years ago, maybe four or five years ago. And we knew Anthony was going to run, because he had mentioned it to us that he was planning to run. Four days later, I'll never forget that, he said, he called me up again, three o'clock in the morning. Pete, yeah, somebody's running against Anthony. Tony Ada. What? <laughs> Tony Ada. Who? He said, who is Tony Ada? I said, I don't know. He says, well, find out. He called me by 11 o'clock in the morning. He says, see si Antonio, our Anthony. <laughs> You're hearing this side of the story, but Ben has a very humble and a soft part in his heart. Anita, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to bring this up, but it's something that it really reflected your father's humbleness. Anita was about four, three or four years old, and about 1958, 1959. Does it ring a bell, Anita, already? You know where the Superior Court is now. That stoplight there was just brand new. A man, uh, Anita, you know how little kids are, they go running out. She ran out to the road. A serviceman was coming down from, from Naval Hospital down the road. And obviously, probably his brakes didn't work. By the time my brother got down to pick him up, to pick Anita up, the car hit Anita and dragged Anita to the um, stoplight. That was about 50 feet, maybe for more. That man, who was an Air Force, stayed with Anita day and night. Then the trial was to come. Everything was all set and ready. My brother got up and he says, Your Honor, drop this case. 
I am grateful my daughter is alive and it is th not this man's fault. It was the car that the, ran the brakes got off or it didn't function. My Gumatauta family would remember that very, very clearly. Another incident that happened with my brother not too long ago. He was robbed, almost killed, in his home in Senahanya. I want you, ladies and gentlemen, to know, to this day, my brother knew who did it, but he never said a word who robbed him. We do not know, but he does. Another thing that Ben kept very, very quiet. I was born way, way, way after the war. And I really wanted to hear from my brother. Tell me something that I want and I should know about your time. Where did you go? The only word my brother said was, I was with the Tanakas. Tommy, Uncle Tommy, and Auntie Fina Tanaka. And then tears started to roll down his eyes, and I stopped. Didn't want to ask any further questions. Ben would take his shirt off for anyone and at any time, especially in a time of need. This past Sunday, I spent a few moments, um, quite a few time, a long time with him. And I whispered down to my brother, I said, dude, you know I'm going for surgery, right? And I'm going to ask you, because you look a little bit better now, can I go? And I'll, and I'll be back real soon. He looked up at me and he said, go. Get my clothes ready because I'm going with you. That's Ben. Another thing, and this is the strange thing. One Christmas, he sent me a card. He, he called, he showed me a card. He says, hey, did you know that Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are Democrats? <laughs> I said, really? How so? Look at the picture and the nativity scene. The donkey is right there. <laughs> and then he turned around and he says, and you know what? Jesus became a Republican. Really? How so? They're still playing the battle hymn of the Republic. <laughs> Jesse, my nephew, Ricky's son, where are you? You're right here somewhere. I'm going to ask you, son, to do me one big favor as you leave this place to go back to the funeral home. Can you please just drive by the Bank of Guam? My brother goes there every day. I hope you have no deposit slip. <laughs> no, he's not going to withdraw. <laughs> we stopped that already. <laughs> anyway, my brother, go in peace. And please, don't argue with God. Thank you very much, Pete, for sharing those times with your brother. I would like to invite the governor, Chief Justice, members of the Minat Gentai Ches, Nalehas Latuan Guahan, honored guests and friends to bid farewell to the late Honorable Vicente Ben Diaz, former senator.
I call upon Pastor Tom Van Eing to deliver the benediction. Please rise. Go now in peace, and may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. May the love of God and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us, and gently wipe away every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Please be seated. Mr. Majority Leader, you are recognized. I move to rise from today's committee of the whole and to adjourn this session subject to call of the speaker. On that motion, no objection, so order. I'd like to um, ask the senators to please um, position yourself to escort and uh, ask the, the governor and the chief justice to join me as well and members of the legislature and other members of the podium.